Hi there, it's Spencer Miller from Miller Ancients, and today I'm going to be talking about a late Roman silver siliqua of the Emperor Arcadius. Um, this coin is about 16 millimeters in diameter and weighs just under 2 grams, um, and it was struck in the late 4th century AD between the years 392 and 395 AD in the city of Augusta Trevorum, which is modern-day Trier, Germany. Um, the obverse depicts the Emperor Arcadius in classic 4th century imperial regalia with a pearl diadem, um, the draped and cuirassed bust um, facing right, and then on the reverse um, we see Victory, or Roma, or Roma holding Victory um, with a spear, and the exerg, you see the mint mark TRPS. Um, and that TR stands for Trevorum, which um, later became the city of Trier. Now, this denomination um, has been called the Siliqua um, by modern numismatists, actually, I think 19th century numismatists, but we actually don't know exactly what this was called. This was a very common denomination. Um, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands have been found, um, mostly across Western Europe, this was a denomination that mostly circulated in the Western part of the empire. Um, a large horde of these, uh, the first one was found in 1887 in Harptree, uh, Somerset, England. Um, but many, many more have been found. They're often heavily clipped, um, which means that the edges have been clipped off um, to remove some precious metal. This happened to the gold coins of the period as well. Um, this was a heavily punishable offense um, at the time. In fact, I think your fingers or hands could get chopped off at some point in time for clipping um, coinage. Now, this is one of the last Roman coins to be struck um, at the Trier Mint, one of the last Roman coins uh, to be struck in the northwest region of the empire, for that matter. Um, at the time that this coin was minted, Arcadius um, was a mid-teenager, uh, 15 to 16, ruling as co-emperor with his father, Theodosius, who was the real authority. Theodosius was the, was the last man to rule over both, both the western and eastern halves of the Roman Empire. Um, he achieved rule over the west in 392 AD, and he died in 395. And with his death, this um, son, Arcadius, was granted the east of the empire, and the other son, Honorius, was given the west. And that sealed the permanent division of the western and Roman empires. They would never again be reunited except for some reconquest from the east to the west by the emperor Justinian. Um, and this coin being struck in Germany um, was struck on the front lines of the struggle against the barbarians. In fact, only 11 years after this coin was struck, Trier was overrun um, by the Germans when they crossed the Rhine in 406. Now, believe it or not, this is not the last incarnation of the mint of Trier. A usurper, Constantine III, briefly took over the city in the early 5th century, 407, and he struck some coins there, and those were technically the last Roman coins struck at Trier, but this is still sort of the twilight of the Roman frontier on Germany. Um, a very darkly toned coin. I bought it from CNG um, about two years ago for, I think, $150, maybe a little more, $175, and um, that's pretty consistent with what it's worth. Um, the Silic was a pretty affordable late Roman coin, um, Nicer examples from earlier in the century from the House of Constantine will cost more. In fact, there are some coins of Constantine himself um, with no obverse legend, the famous eyes to God type that command thousands of dollars. Um, but the later Siliqua of the later 4th century are very affordable and a great way to get into the precious metals of the late empire. Thanks so much for watching.